The political instability being witnessed in the country might result in further increase in food prices as most food suppliers are unwilling to risk losing their stock and their vehicles being damaged by protesters, maize importers have warned. The importers cautioned that should the ongoing weekly mass protests continue, a food supply shock will be inevitable and as such, there could be a serious food crisis in the country. With Kenya being food insecure, the importers led by Samson and Zhao argued that rising food prices are a reflection of supply and demand fundamentals saying that the demand for food commodities locally has outstripped supply growth for several years, resulting in lower stock levels. Kenya therefore heavily relies on imports from the neighboring countries with maize, beans, tomatoes and onions taking the lion's share in the food items imported from Tanzania and Uganda. In the wake of political unrest, and Zhao decried that lorries transporting food items in the country are spending days at the border for clearance and to monitor the political situation unlike the past. Nataka kukashifu ile mambo iko hapa katika Kenya yetu. Ile mambo ya maandamano mimi ningeomba hiyo mambo ya maandamano ikome kabisa sababu inchi ni kubwa kuliko sisi. Na hii inchi ni jengwa na miaka mingi sana tukiangalia vile ili jengwa na inaweza isha kwa siku moja. Kwa hivyo sisi ya tuwezi taka kama ayale maafa turiona huko Rwanda wakati watu walichinjana. Kwa hivyo tungeomba, tunahisi, hii serekari, iwe iangaria kabisa vitu za watu na wala watu wako na maandamano mimi ningeomba mkubwa wa opposition, Raila Amoro Udinga makiwa na Mother Karua, na Kalozo Mosioka, hii nchi ni kubwa kuliko sisi. Kwa hivyo hiyo kitu ikome kabisa, na wachana nae kabisa, hili tuwezerea kuendelea na nchi yetu na mbele. Hiyo itatuwadhiri pahari pakubwa sana, sababu tukiangalia kama zile magari zilatoka Tanzania, zile zilatoka Uganda, zile zilatoka Mombasa, kazi yota imesimama. Na hivyo ni kusema sasa mambo ya dora na imeendelea kushuti juu, kwa hivyo hii nchi itakuwa na shida sana. Kwa hivyo vitu zinaendelea kuhaiki juu, vitu ziko, na kama watu wange kubari kuwe nchi hiko na amani, hii mambo hata unga, hata nini, zi zote zilikuwa zinaenda chini lakini saa hii zinaenda juu kwa vile maafa watu wanaogopa mimi nauza serious na ningetaka kukashifu maandamano ya kesho kwa sababu hiyo maandamano inarudisha uchumi nyuma sana wakati tunafanya maandamano kwa siku tatu kwa wiki hiyo ni kusema hiyo ni economic sabotage na itarudisha nchi nyuma sana kwa sababu inamaanisha tutakuwa tunafanya kazi only for monday and tuesday kwa siku tatu ambazo ndio watu wafanyi biashara wanafanya kazi ni siku mingi na zime affect uchumi sana. Tumeadhirika sana kwa sababu inabidi hata transporters wanapoteza hela nyingi sana sababu gari inakaa kwenye boda more than three days na unahesabiwa demarage ya kila siku unaingia demarage ndio. Ya kwanza sisi wafanyi biashara tunafanya na tunajisaidia na loan. Loan umechukua banka ijui kuna maandamano ama hakuna. So shida ya kwanza ni kulipa hiyo loan tunafuliza hizo mambo zote. So ikiwa mara tatu kwa weekend kuna maandamano alafu kuna weekend kazi inaharibika kabisa. Ngeomba tu huyo mkubwa bwana Raila Odinga aitikia waongee na serikali tuelewane mambo ya maandamano ishe. Nafaa kuwa amani Kenya. Manake Kenya ni kubwa kuliko maandamano. Ndiyo, biashara inaharibika kwa sababu kusema mara tatu kwa wiki ati ni mgomo si kazi inaendelea biashara yendi vizuri kabisa kwanza kama leo gari ya zikuji tunafanya kazi na watu wa nchi za nje gari ya zingi so kuna biashara itaendelea hawaleti mizigo na sisi tuwezi toka nje